something about this. Well, you know, this is a plastic. So everywhere you can see plastics. So right from this, this is also plastic. Nowadays there is a plastic everywhere. It, it become a problem for humanity. So there is a study which says that in a year we produce 400 million tons of plastics. So among that 400 tons of plastics, 75% plastics are just thrown here and there. So they are like a garbage. And then remaining, remaining 14% plastics, they are used to burn. And after that, only 10% plastic is going to recycle. So now actually recycling means what? What they are actually doing in that recycling process? So they are degraded that plastics. Actually, they are making a, a lower order uh, plastic material, which doesn't have that much usefulness as the first one. So the 4% plastic is went through in that process and the remaining 4% plastic is degraded and only 2% plastic is actually recycled. So what is the calculation? The calculation is if we are producing 400 tons of plastic in a year, what percentage we are recycling? We are recycling only 2% of it and the remaining plastic is as it is to create problem so now what is the rescue for this so there is a solution uh, the solution is that we have to change the mean the material actually uh, plastic or polyethylene that is a polymer of ethene so instead of that we have a, a bioplastics the concept called is bioplastic so what we have we are making a bioplastic from a banana peels so let's go and check whether it is useful and let's discuss something more about it okay so this is it this is the plastic made from banana peels now these are the banana peels now this is our project making bioplastic from banana peels now these are the samples here now if we mix some honey glycerin and vinegar into banana peels now we will go through these steps so this is step number one in which we got the specimen which is thicker then we improved the uh, quality by adding some additional materials and then this product comes which is like bit like a stretchable membrane and but it is again a thicker we need other, uh, again thinner products so we come to this now now this is the actual final product which looks like a plastic now we can make several things by this now this uh, these things are made from the uh, the plastic which we use uh, at the time of party dinner where uh, we can use it as a plate again one more thing so we've uh, seen that black plastic which is uh, used for plantation instead of that plastic if we use these kinds of plastic so when we can directly put the plant into soil and now what happens these plants actually get the plastic as a compost and it helps to grow that plant and we can reduce the use of plastics again some more things are there we can make some toys for the uh, small children and there is a tendency of children to take the plastic toys into the mouth if that plastic toys are made from these plastic then it will be uh, it will be not uh, that much uh, problematic for the children so these are the some uh, extra uses of them but the basic idea is we have to we have to actually uh, stopping uh, the uses of plastic and uh, we are trying to give the alternative for the plastic so this is a starting where we have found this type of uh, plastic but still uh, there is a long way to go we hope that this plastic will become a better use uh, better option for the uh, plastic which we are using nowadays thank you very much